Hi everyone, it's Sandy. Thank you for joining me here on my channel, Septera 18. I hope everyone is doing well. Um, so I have here a one sheet wonder project that I want to share with you. And I only used one piece of 12 by 12 paper. And what I created was a mini folio folder with a pocket booklet set. Uh, so it's a fun little project and you can use this uh, as a traveler's notebook for junk journaling. You could also store photos inside the pockets that's inside the folder. Or you could also give this as a Happy Mail gift and add some goodies as well. Um, so I've decided to do a two-part video. Uh, this will be part one and I'm going to show you a, a, a detailed look of the mini folio folder that I've made as well as a tutorial to create the folder. Uh, part two will be the tutorial and the measurements to show you how you to make the little mini pocket booklet that's inside this uh, folio. I've also put a fun kit together as well so you can make the same uh, folio folder and I will um, show you the kit in, in my part two video and what's included in the kit if you are interested in purchasing the kit from my Etsy shop. Now with the kit, I'm, I'm only going to have six uh, kits available in my shop. Um, again, uh, they do sell really quick so I'm hopefully you'll get a chance to uh, purchase one if you um, decide to buy one of my kits but let me show you the mini folio folder and then we'll do the tutorial um, again it's not um, a large size it, but it's still um, a perfect size to store uh, lots of things in here so you can see that's the side and then I've used some tool to use as a closure so everything can stay inside the uh, folder and I also just added uh, some, a little tassel dangle with a bead. I didn't untie this properly. <laughs> there we go. Um, so this is how it looks like. And this is a cute little tassel that I've um, just added just to decorate it and just to make it more pretty. And then I did some simple embellishing to the front. I fussy cut this uh, flower image and then punched out this heart. And then I also added some tool to the back. And this is like a mesh, mesh uh, shape heart die that I have. I also added um, a piece of a piece of dolly to the back just to add some more texture. And I did use a, a paper collection by Kaiser Craft. I can't remember the paper collection, but I will put the um, paper collection down below. And when you open it up, it opens up like that. And then over here, I have created a little tuck spot for a little card or a note card and it just goes in the back there i fussy cut this butterfly as well and just place it on the front and this uh, dolly here is the dolly that was part of this one here so i just cut a little piece to attach here and then the other piece i place it onto the back of the cover here just to uh, again just to decorate the paper a little bit more and then over here is the um pocket with a closure and I've just got some lovely crochet string to use as the closure and then you open that up and inside this pocket is the mini pocket booklet that coordinates with the folder just another simple little way to um, add some more goodies inside and inside here in the front is um, a couple of tags that I've just hand cut and this is uh, these two pieces of paper that I made into tags were actually uh, the pieces that were cut out from the folder. So I didn't want to waste anything. So I decided to just create some a couple of tags out of the pieces that were cut out to create the folder. And that just goes in there. I've also made another little side pocket in here as well just to tuck some little ephemera if you wanted to do that. So that fits in there. And then at the back here is another top loading pocket with a tag shape booklet that I've made and then I've just placed some tea dye stain paper and some baking paper just another little spot for some notes or a bit of journaling or if you wanted to write some quotes so that's just another good way to create a little booklet and that just fits inside the top pocket in there like that and that just fits in here and then that just closes up like that. And then when you open it up, you get these um, other uh, sections where you've got a side pocket here. 
I've got a slim, mini slim envelope that I've made and it opens up nice and uh, there's heaps of room in there. So I place that inside this tuck uh, side pocket there. And in the middle here is another uh, pocket with a closure using the same um, crochet string. And then inside there, I've got a little, um, just uh, some paper that was a tour by tour paper that had these lovely lines and I just cut it out, which I thought would be great for, again, for some journaling. I placed some a vellum piece of, sh a, a, a vellum sheet and just to give it a bit more texture and then just so it's just nice to have a little flippy piece to the uh, little card and that goes in there as well and this booklet would also fit here if you wanted to place it in there you could also fit it um, on the side here if you wanted to place it on the side of your folder so it can fit anywhere in any of these pockets so that's um, a great perfect size for that so let me show you how to make the mini folder and then the part two will be the measurements and how I put together the little folder as well as this little booklet and I will show you the kit as well so let me just put these to the side so you'll need your tour by tour paper to um, start off I'm just going to grab um, a paper that's just single sided for the tutorial and uh, just a little tip as well if you get a bit hesitant sometimes it's best to start off with a scrap piece of tour by tour paper first to get um, just to get you um, so you don't make any mistakes using your good paper first sometimes you can make a mistake using your good paper and then you end up um, not being able to use it all right so what we're going to do is we're going to make one cut so you're going to line your tour by tour paper at the eight and a quarter inch mark so it's going to place it at the one and a quarter inch so it's eight and a quarter inches and then we're going to cut that out so then you're going to have this piece here we'll put that to the side and that's for your pocket booklet but I will do that tutorial in the part two video. I'm just gonna grab my scoreboard. And so you're gonna line your paper on the 12 inch uh, side and we are going to score at three and one eighth of an inch. And that's the little mark after the three inch mark. Seven inches. Oops. Ten and three quarter of an inch. Uh, I'll just repeat that. So it's three and one eighth of an inch, seven inches, and ten and three quarter of an inch. And then we're going to turn the paper around to the eight and a quarter inch mark. And we are going to score at one and a half inches all the way down and six and a half inches. So that's the scoring. And now what we're going to do here, um, you're going to this part here and this one, we're going to remove these two little panels here. So we're just going to cut along and remove those. So they're those two little pieces that I had mentioned where I made them into tags. So I'll put them to the side for now. So what we're going to do now, we're going to cut uh, along that line up to there. And this one, that one, as well as this one. So we're just going to cut straight up just to that score line. I'm just also going to remove a little bit of that as well 
So you just want to try and just remove a little bit more. Uh, just so easy to fold your folder later. Okay, so I've just sort of removed a bit and then I'm going to turn this around and do the same. So that is uh, now how you want your paper to look like. And what we're going to do now, we're going to bring this up. We're just going to fold this up first just for now so it doesn't get in the way. So just sort of fold it along that fold line. So you've got that done. And I'm just going to open this up now. And then we are going to, actually, we're going to, this part here and this part, we're going to trim off a little bit. So we're just going to trim off about a quarter of an inch from that uh, fold line and as well as the side. It doesn't matter. It doesn't have to be exactly the same. You just want to leave a little bit there and here. I'll just bring this down a little bit. Okay. So now we've done that. Now what we're going to do here... This part here, we're going to just slightly angle cut this part and as well as this one here. Just a little bit, you don't have to do too much uh, of an angle cut, just a little bit. There we go. And then also, um, we can also do this side here as well. And up here as well. So there we have your paper. All right, so now we're going to assemble it. Just one second, just my paper is not cut properly for you. Just turn this back around. So we're going to um, grab this little piece here. We're going to fold that in and as well as this one. Oh, sorry, I keep forgetting these steps because I've only made it once, so I keep forgetting. I'm just going to angle cut here and here as well. So, sorry about that. I've only just made this just before, so I'm still trying to rem remember how I put it together. All right, so again, we fold that in and fold that in. Um, I'm going to put some glue. I'm sure I might fold this in as well just to make it easy. Now we're going to put some glue along these two flaps. We're going to bring that in and that creates that little side pocket that um, where I had the envelope. My well, one's not quite straight. so. All right, so now I have a, um, a side top pocket, and the reason why I made that fold just so you have more room if you wanted to add um, something bulkier in there. So it's a little bit of a gusset there. So now you've done that, we're going to move over to the to these sides. We are going to fold this up and also fold this down. And now before we uh, uh, do anything here, I have here, now this is optional, you don't have to do it this way. I have made the, I made these little tabs to be able to close the uh, pocket. And what I've done with that, I just cut out some scrap papers. So I cut out four pieces at two inches by two inches. So I've cut out four, two for this side of the pocket and then the other two will be for uh, these two. 
So I just want to cut that a two by two and then just folding them in half. So you'll get four um, of these. So I'm just going to quickly fold these in half so I'll have them ready. And then I also made another little piece at uh, one and three quarter of an inch by one and a half inches. And that's for the closure part here. That's for this part here. So you could also just get that ready as well. So again, then just folding it in half. So I'm going to put that one to the side for now. And then I'm just going to corner around the little tabs that I've just folded in half. And I've corner rounded them at the fold part. So you want to do that to all four. these quickly Oops. Right, so then what we'll do now we're going to place one of the tabs here if you don't want to use a tab you can just glue this down if you wanted to and then just have that um, like that but it is nicer to have these little tabs it just decorates your folio better. So I'm just going to place it, say, there. Add some glue. Just try and get it centred as best I can. And leave enough room so that you can punch your hole on the top when you slide it down. And then I'm going to grab my other one and place it on the top. try and get it um, sort of in line together with the other one so while that's drying we'll leave that for now I'm going to close that up I'm going to now close this one um, sorry I'm going to close this one over this way and then bring these two down so that one and this one And I'm going to do the same and placing these to the top and bottom. Just getting them to line up again the same. And then this part will then close up like that. So I'm just going to go back in here and with these two, I'm just going to punch out a hole, top and the bottom. So I'm just going to try and get that centered as best I can. And I'm just going to grab a pen just so I know where I'm going to line it up. Or a pencil, just so they both line up together. So that should line up there now and then i'm going to open this up again the bottom part and i'm just going to apply glue just to the just to the one side so that will now create the pocket and that's your closure then you just add your string to there and that completes that one we've done the side pocket there and then we're going to do the same and repeat that with this one I'm just going to So that's done, and then I'm just going to also apply glue to this bottom um, bottom fold, just along one side. Bring that up, and that will give me the uh, 
bottom pocket and there's the part where you just add your string and that closes up like that so this is how it will look like you just open that up and then you have this part here where you can do what you like on this page you have these two parts where i've added the tabs and that's your pocket here and then when you open that up you have your side tuck pocket for your envelope or whatever you like in here and then this is your middle um, pocket with the closure so that's how i made that for your uh folio folder and then this little piece here and that can just get placed along there and just exactly the same way just adding some glue and then just punching a hole so you could add your trim or string and then once that's um, glued down you can then just punch a center hole and there you have your little mini uh, folio folder then those two little pieces that I uh, had cut out from those the two corners you can just tidy up and cut out your um, edges so it's nice and straight and all I've done was just cut it at an angle on one side bring that over to the other side so I can get both even angles and that creates one tag and then this is the other tag and then I did trim this one down a bit so it's a little bit shorter so they're just a little bit um, so not the same and then you can place that anywhere you like so that is the uh, tutorial for the mini folio folder and then I'm going to do part two and show you how to make the cute little uh, mini uh, the pocket booklet. And I'll also do this little uh, booklet as well. And also show you the kit that's available, that will be available in my shop as well. So I hope you enjoyed this mini folio folder tutorial using one, uh, using one sheet of 12 by 12. And I hope I'll see you in my part two video. Bye for now.